Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 1st, 2018. Share Frenzy Day. That's right, folks. We're going to be going live this afternoon, and I want every one of my friends and family to think about Morning Dew today and share it with your friends and family from across the world. As I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts for everybody to stay aware and prepared. We're just looking at our planetary conjunction right now. And over the next month, Venus will be going retrograde in between us and the Sun. Mercury on the backside over the next month. So I just wanted to show you where we are in our solar system today. Also going to give you a sneak peek at what our sun is doing. We've got a quickly developing coronal hole on the left side there. You can see it forming just in front of that active sunspot region. So yeah, that, that coronal hole grew quickly in front so we're going to be watching that region over the next couple of days for a possible flare up or a CME, coronal mass ejection of a plasma filament. So yes, please join us today, this afternoon, 2 p.m. We're going to be going live from Olympic Plaza, downtown Calgary. And if anybody here locally that is watching, come on down and you can meet Mike from Morning Dew. I'm going to be down there with friends and family. So here's our five-day forecast, and we do have a tropical storm, Florence. As I had uh, expected, about four days ago, I put out a video saying that we most likely will have an Atlantic storm forming. Florence is alive. Now this track is heading somewhat north into cooler waters so we'll have to see how it goes but there is another one developing right behind it so we're going to be keeping an eye on that watching this low pressure development too south of florida heading into the gulf of mexico a lot of parts of new orleans alabama they're going to be dealing with a lot of rain over the next two days as a little weather bomb is developing south of Florida. Across Canada, things are really cooling off. You can see little blips of snow falling in the Rockies and northern parts of Alberta. Things cooling off right across our nation as those large lows are coming in from the north now jet stream changing getting ready for winter just looking over our tropical storms in the Pacific Miriam dying out heading north Norman still category 2 heading north northwest and then another tropical storm 16 following Norman. So very busy tropical storm season in the Pacific and a very quiet one in the Atlantic. Now watching this large Typhoon Jebi, the force is with him as he has become the largest tropical storm of the season. It was a category five sustained last night, all night long. We'll be watching today as the sun comes up over the Pacific Ocean to see if it strengthens. Things have quieted down in Australia, southeastern parts. The storms are gone. New Zealand as well. Still, very cool temperatures in Australia. Overlooking Europe, low pressure center 
developing over Italy and Belgium, bringing some thunderstorms today. And we're also going to look at this area down here, at the bottom of South America, as those large low pressure centers still keep battering this peninsula. And we did have an earthquake yesterday, a 4.4 South Sandwich Islands. And I was expecting an uptick in seismicity in this area as these large low pressure centers have been hammering the peninsula. We're going to have a look at the satellite imagery for our storms. This is Typhoon Jebai. Very strong storm. Very high cloud tops and is heading north to Japan. I mean, we've got in the Atlantic storm, tropical storm Florence, who is still only category one. But you can see here on the left side of that low pressure center, it is building and growing. And there will be another tropical storm forming right behind it. And the other major storm, Norman. And Norman is a pretty strong storm as well. Yesterday was a Category 5, as well as Jebai. Downgraded today to Category 2. Heading west, following the same track as Miriam. And then we've also got Tropical Storm 17. I just wanted to show you the amount of electricity in our air over North America right now is crazy. I mean, look at all these lightning strikes from the storms today and last night. Overlooking the rest of the world looks nothing like it does here in North America. Very electric. As that large low pressure center has been moving across, cold front coming in from the north. I'm just going to show you the last 24 hours for earthquakes. We've had pretty busy 24 hours for earthquakes. 4.4 in the south, or 4.9 in the South Pacific Ocean. And this 4.4 in Fiji at a 587 kilometer depth. So watch for a larger shallow earthquake. Could possibly be this 5.6, but it's a 455 kilometer depth. So 5.6 south of Japan, still along the Marianas Trench, deepest depths of our ocean still shifting and shaking. I want to thank you for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Please join me today for this afternoon's live stream. Thanks for watching today. God bless you all. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. See you this afternoon. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.